What's up everyone? My name is Melanie and this is the quick version of my tutorial on how to set up Redshift puzzle mats in Cinema 4D. I'm just going to go straight through the steps, but if you're confused or want further explanation, I suggest you check out the full version of this tutorial, which can be found here. Or here. I don't know, whichever side it's on. Otherwise, this is for people who are short on time and want to know the how, but don't really care about the why. Let's head over into Cinema 4D and set up a puzzle mat. Okay, so here is the scene we are using for this demo. And to set up a puzzle mat, you will go into settings, and I would set up your Redshift render as you normally would. Make sure you have Redshift selected, and then adjust your sampling to decrease your noise, and once you have your normal Redshift render set up, go into AOV settings. Drag over a puzzle mat to enable it, and you can set up any of these AOVs on the left, but we're just going over how to do a puzzle mat. Now I'm going to switch from multi-pass to direct output, which is just my personal preference. It basically bypasses Cinema 4D's built-in multi-pass system and uses Redshift system instead. If you have the mat highlighted, you'll see all these options on the right. And you can customize the name of your mat, which is useful if you have multiple puzzle mats, and you can use either material ID or object ID, which are just like they sound. Material ID uses materials to separate mats, and object ID uses your objects to separate mats. If we use object ID, we need to put redshift tags on individual objects. So to do that, right click on the object and add a redshift object tag. Then we can go over to this object ID and set the ID number to whatever we want. Then we want to make sure that we set the same number into one of these channels. And now object ID 1 is set to the red channel. So I'll set up three objects real quick so you can see. Three is the maximum amount of mats you can have in one puzzle mat, but you can create multiple puzzle mats if you need more. You just want to make sure that they contain unique numbers. So use 4, 5, and 6 for instance instead of one, two, and three. To see if your mat is working, you can check it in your Redshift render view, but you have to change from beauty pass to whatever mat you're looking at. In this case, it will be the object puzzle mat. And then click this bucket mode and it should start populating a three color image. Now, even though you can create a three color mat, you don't have to. If we made all these object IDs number one, we could just render a single red map. Material ID works the same way, but you adjust your material ID in the material itself. So to set this up, you want to go into your material under node properties and set material ID to whatever you want. So if I set up a material ID for these main colors, purple, yellow, and blue, you can see the mat is separated by these three materials. Your AOV will be named based on this box here, which currently references this AOV file name redshift setting, followed by the name of your pass. So currently it is named cube scene underscore obj underscore puzzle. Okay, so when you render, this will show up in your folder along with the main beauty pass. Let's head over to After Effects to import it. Over in After Effects, I just brought in my beauty pass and the two mats I created. So to get puzzle mats to show up, we'll bring over the puzzle mat on top of our main pass, and you can see the three colored mat. To use it as a mat, we need to go to Effects, Channel, Set Mat. And now you can see we can change this Use for Mat setting to whichever channel we want. Then we can just take an adjustment layer, add a hue and saturation effect, or whatever effect you want to adjust, and we'll add an alpha mat referencing the puzzle mat. And change this to be, say, the red channel. And any adjustment effects that we put on the adjustment layer will be only applied to the red mat. And we could just set this up the same way for as many adjustments as we need. And that is the gist of how to set up Redshift puzzle mats in Cinema 4D and import them into After Effects. 
As I said before, this is the quick version of a longer tutorial, so if you want more explanation, I suggest you try that one out. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I will do my best to answer them. Once again, my name is Melanie. You can find me at MoGraphMel across all the social media channels. If you found this useful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome week, and until next time, happy animating.